Hi everyone. I've uh, just popped over to the accountants. It's that type of time of year. I thought I'd just do a little vid on the way back. Uh, we're going to be having a look at how my Aucci screen works. Um, I've got sat-nav and ways. I like to use ways. I've got ways plumbed in um, on the way home. And I'm just going to have a little look to see how it operates and how it works um, whilst on a motorbike. Let's get all the way up to my stop line. Okay, now um, first of all I think I must have picked up a wrong setting because I've not got this through my headset. I'm sure you can work it out but to be honest it's not a big deal for me because I tend to use just an occasional glance um, but I will try and sort that out for the following time. It's Ashley's normal stuff, just wing it. I didn't use sat nav on the way here because um, I know exactly where I'm going. I know where I'm going on the way home, but I am going to follow the uh, the directions on the sat nav. Now, this is one little thing that I've found out as well, that if you want the noise off on the blind spot information system, you just press that middle button. So it's um, it's pretty good, to be honest. It was one thing that I wasn't so sure of last time. Just be careful of that BM because they were pushing a little bit. Be super aware of uh, people around. And it is sending me this exit. And I am going to exit into lane two as well because we are going to be... Uh, Turn them right at the next roundabout I can see. So, I'm also going to have a little look to see what this bike's like. Not my mirror getting off it. Um, I think that's why I always have to adjust my mirror because I knock it i think when i uh mount the bike it's a little bit awkward for me with my uh old knees um getting on a bike like this with the top box on as well so we're good oh, on that side sat nav's showing me where i'm going next i don't quite see it just yet and it's like uh any sat nav to be honest find out with little glances and make sure you use your glance when you know what's happening out and up there we're going uh ahead at the roundabout that's okay no, i don't think i'm even going to filter when you don't know where you're going don't make things more difficult give yourself a little bit more time um so all in all, I'm really happy with this screen. It's the perfect sort of size. It's not the best place to cross, buddy. I'm just going to get past. Um, it's the perfect sort of size to um, not be in the way, but hold enough information so you can see what's what. Um, I've also come to a little little conclusion with my stopping. I think I was stopping too much with the back brake. I was um, then, if your right foot's on the back brake, you've only got your left foot to step off. And I think I was, um, I was doing that too much. So the stops have been better since. I've used the front brake a little bit more for stopping. If you can go super slow and maneuver and keep things going, sound back brake, because then you can sort of like drag the back brake against the use of the uh, accelerator or the throttle and the use of the clutch. But when I'm just stopping, I found just using the um, the front brake to make things smoother. So I've worked a few little things out. Still only done about 150 miles on it, to be honest. Um, here's one little thing that some people have talked about, and it's my blind spot checks. 
Um, it's only a couple of people, but one in particular said, my blind spots or my lifesavers aren't sufficient enough. Uh, they are. Um, you've just been um, sort of like duped by these 360 cameras. Um, the angle in which I turn round um, is sufficient. I'm just being careful of this one now. I do know that people do tend to push in. This is a right turning lane. I am taking the uh, second exit. And I'm uh, just going to see where people are going. The left becomes a left turn. A Range Rover is an absolute classic to want to put in, push in, isn't it? Absolute classic. Aftermarket wheels. Where are you going? No. So, see where the Range Rover goes. We cleared after this one. I'm out of here. Make sure you don't accelerate too quickly to catch other people out who are coming on to the roundabout as well. Let the fella finish. It's all good. Where did the Range Rover go? No, the Range Rover did go further round. Okay. My bad. I'm sorry for taking the mick out of his aftermarket wheels. Um, but anyway, uh, notice, and doing stuff like I've just done, all right, not taking the mick out of his aftermarket wheels, um, but doing what I've just done and thinking the worst of people is not being prejudiced. Being a pessimist in using any vehicle on our roads is really important. It really is. Um, you've got to think of the worst and then you're never surprised okay so yeah think the worst and then you won't be uh, caught out you'll have to excuse me on certain um, occasions on the motorbike compared to the car as well because my verbalization of things will not be as fluent and why is that that's because I'm still getting used to getting back in the saddle after 15 years. Um, doesn't mean my brain's not working though, but I just have a little bit more of a cognitive load because I'm operating this thing as opposed to a car, which um, I'm not bad at. But this, I definitely need work. But I am enjoying this little process. Turning left, that nav says we're turning left. Now this road as well. Nice early view to the right. Cancel my signal. Been caught out less by then. No one's following me. What I've tried to turn my third eye blind spot system into as well is it's a little bit of a game. I'm now seeing whether I can check my mirrors and know when this thing is going to go off. Um, it is useful though, it's sat right in my peripheral vision just down here and I can see it when it illuminates. It's a little bit more difficult I must admit today because we've got the bright sunny weather. This might be a, a day that you actually turn the, uh, the speaker on but um, it's not quite as bright, it does illuminate quite brightly and you can pick up what's what. Okay, so no one's behind. Have a little look at the micro eye contact, white one's fine, jogger, no issues over there. Is there enough space for me to uh, fit through? I think so, but at what speed? Just got to be careful in case someone uh, darts out. I'm going to stay in position three just while I negotiate the blue one and then it sets me up nicely for the park ones. Got to be careful here though, in case this one swings wide. We did a little bit. Those uh, SUVs aren't as uh, as big as people think. People bonnet watch to do their turns massively nowadays and it causes all kinds of issues. Um, but yeah, the screen, um, I've got it placed exactly where I want it. I still have to lean up a little bit to see my fuel gauge, which is okay. Um, but I do need to probably work out one of the settings so it can be played through my intercom um, i can hear it on the screen to be honest the screen has got a speaker but there must be a setting where i can just uh quickly change it to be 
play through this, but for me, it's all right. It's generally how I roll in the car anyway. I generally don't have the sound on. I just find my time to have a glance here and there. Where are we going? We're going left onto the lanks. Okay. We shall. So, my stopping now with the front brake is smoother. Happy. Anyone behind? Let's have a little look to see when my uh, third eye is going to pick up on someone coming in behind because that's when both of them flash. If you keep watching, like I said, it's a little bit of a game that I'm starting to play. I think it's the right way to go about doing things as well. Um, I'm going to sit here with my foot on the on the back brake, that's something I've still got to uh, remember to do. Traffic, we're good. Still no one behind. So all in all, um, you're happy with the first few weeks of purchase. Someone's coming behind. Here we go. I win. 1 0 Ashley. So, if you're uh, thinking of getting one of these third eyes, for me, that's a nice little thing that it sort of like forces you to do. It forces you, if you work things in that particular manner, it forces you to be a little bit more observant, which is a good thing. Okay. So this is a pretty straight run. I'll tell you what I am going to look at down here. I'm going to look at the wind buffeting on this bike. Um, it is one thing that uh, people have said about it, even though it's got an adjustable screen. I've got my screen on its uh, highest level. It still does get a fair or give me a fair bit of buffeting around uh, I don't like using the word helmet I'm too childish to use that so I'm going to be using the word lid so it gives me uh, a fair bit of buffering buffering around my uh, buffeting I'll get it right in the end it's me uh, laughing at my own child childish nature anyway um, yeah there's a load of buffeting around my lid it's not a big deal for me uh, any issues with the taxi to the left no, all sound. I am just going to uh, have a little cruise up here. I'm in no rush. Um, not a problem, though. You expect a little bit of buffeting. Hey, buddy. You expect a little bit of buffeting when you're on a motorbike. That's how things roll. That one's okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So just make sure, if you're arriving in that situation like the uh, SUV was with the car in a central reservation, make sure you do something with your speed just to enable you to be seen. You might even decide to position, I'm going to use lane two here, you might even decide to position a little bit more to position three. So, we're good. Let's scoot off up this hill. Not a problem. So I'm going to have a quick go with the uh, cruise control as well. I'm going to show you how it works. I'm just going to chuck it into the left just for a little second. Uh, I'm going to explain how it works. Let this golf go past and then uh, maybe have a go with the lorry. It's this switch here on this left hand side. And it works in the same way as cruise control in um, vehicles as well. I am just going to pop us out there. need to do a little bit just to get uh, past the lorry but 68 on my um, speedo and 63 I'm pinching those three miles an hour and then settling back down so here set is this side you activate it by pressing it once and then press it again it's three above so I get three little pushes and it just settles nicely so um, I used to have 
like a little clamp on the throttle on one of my bikes, a little plastic clamp that used to clamp the throttle in a set position. It's much nicer to have proper cruise control. It's not radar activated. Um, but um, it is nice, just takes your pressure off your hands. To get rid of it, it's on the throttle side. You actually push the control away. That shuts it off. And then it just effectively just coasts, not out of gear, but coasts in gear and then slows down again. I know uh, it's telling me to go up on the motorway. I am just going to position out in lane two because I'm going to be quicker than the lorry. I've got to get used to doing this. Um, it's not something that I'm ever too really fussed about. I'll happily, even in my car, just go and sit behind the lorry, if I was honest. I'm rarely in a rush anywhere. Um, little Citroen, sorry, Fiat is coming behind. So I'm rarely in a rush anywhere. But I need to get into that mindset a little bit more. Okay. So what's going on down here? Looks as though there's a, a problem in the lane. vehicles going ahead hmm interesting one no oh, they're letting people go ahead looks as though there's been a uh, little bit of a problem that's okay someone been hit Quite a decent collision. Looks as though someone's uh, tried to pick an argument with a lorry and lost. That is a serious one. Okay, no problems, don't rub a neck. If you're ever looking at anything, again, it's exactly like I said about looking at the sat-nav. Find your time to do it. Um, and the problem is with people rub neck in it, situations like that, that they're not paying attention to what's going on in front. Yeah, of course you're gonna look, but don't let it be at a sacrifice to what's going on and up there. Now, I'm going to do typical motorbiker thing. I am going to uh, out accelerate things. I am taking the slip road off to the left shortly. Let's have a little look at the van behind. I'm in gear. I've got options. Foot and the back brake. That allows me to then go with the uh, Enterprise van sounds, done a nice smooth job. So I'm just going to have a little shuffle, wax into neutral, put back on the back brake, and I'm uh, ready to do a little shuffle again in a sec. We've got the filter traffic going from the opposite direction, and then there's nothing. So, front brake, clutch, first gear, left foot down, foot on the back brake again. And then I'm ready to move. We ain't going to be long. So it's not all about outright acceleration as well. Um, I've got to find where I'm going to fit in. I already think it's going to be in front of this green one because they're slow away, which it is. And then I'm not booting it just in case the Vauxhall wishes to come in as well. 
taking the slip road off. Waze has done a good job. All good. Position for best view. Out here, keep to this side. And I've got to trust myself to relax enough to keep this side on the bends. What I tend to do is I tend to get a little bit tense and pull it to the middle. Did it purposefully there because we're coming out to this side, but I've got to learn to relax and just look far and stay where I want to position the bike. Oh, that's nice. Don't even know what that is. I'm not going to go next to it. Anyone know what car that is? Not sure. Not very good on the older cars. Nice colour as well, like that. Anyway, concentrate on what we're doing. Find your time to... Uh... ...to look at what you need to look at. Okay, so, all in all... ...a pretty uneventful ride. I did have a little problem on the... Uh, ride out with um, some fella in Golf R up at this roundabout. It'll be on uh, my monthly fail. And we'll, uh, don't forget, we'll get some footage from the motorbike as well um, in the monthly fails. So relax, Ashley. Stay out to this side. That's better. Learn to chill a little bit. Okay, um, so yeah, we'll be getting some footage from the motorbike, of course, but um, I'll never go fishing for it. Um, don't need to, there's enough idiots out on the road um, for you to collect clips, especially in Liverpool as well. I think that's one of the reasons why my channel has been pre pretty successful, because the state of the drivers in Liverpool. Is that one staying there? Yep. Thank you, sir. But, pretty uneventful, as I said. Well happy with my Aucci screen. Um, I suppose this is still a, uh, a sponsored video. They did send me it, although I've done one, uh, one video on it already. I wanted to have a little go. It was the first time I've used the sat-nav. I do need to work out... Um, like I said, how to get the audio through into my intercom. But I'll do that. That won't take me above two seconds. It's probably just one setting. Um, third eye. Another further impression is um, be selective of when you turn the sound on and off. Um, but using it like I tend to as um, now, a little game where I can preempt, I can see the... Uh, Fiat approaching behind so I know that this is going to flash too. It flashed one first of all because the van was closer to us so um, it is a good little system it's an added safety net if you like that if you do miss something um, you've got that extra piece of kit that just uh, just enables you to probably keep yourself safe um, all the links are in the description the camera um, the Inov K7 that's always on the bike we're going to be using some of the footage um, well happy with that use the code Ashley save yourself 5% and thank you so much for all your support and we'll see you all soon there you go red light jumping lorry but don't forget he has got the yellow box over there so might be the case that it was the uh way of him saying i couldn't stop there so if you see people go late through lights like that there could be some scenario um doesn't mean that he's definitely jumped to red um just honestly make it a non-event like i always say and just don't put yourself in danger by catapulting your car or motorbike off so quickly at lights Keep safe. See you soon.